Now we're ready for some more advanced system. This is our hydraulic schematic for break by wire. We're going to break this down and look at different sections. Basically, we're going to divide it in half. The upper section, where you see the red, that's the master cylinder circuit. Then we have the pump and the accumulator supplying pressure to all of our valves. Let's start taking it down and looking first at this part. Under normal conditions, the master cylinder cutout valves are normally closed. Let's look at this in detail and talk just about this portion of the system. Brake pedal pressure works against the spring in the pedal stroke simulator to give the normal feel of braking. What the driver is actually doing is compressing the spring in that simulator. Once we compressed it, we have a certain pressure in the brake system, according to the driver's feel. The master cylinder pressure is measured by a pressure sensor to supply the control ECU with a brake force requested by the driver. Let me say that again. We measure this master cylinder pressure to supply the control ECU with a brake force information from the driver. We do not apply this to the brakes. What's going to supply brake power, power is the hydraulic pump. It's going to develop pressure to operate the brakes, and that pressure is going to be stored in the accumulator so we can have instant brake operation. Then the pump is started to maintain system pressure. But we're going to build up pressure in the accumulator, and it stays there. Once it builds up high enough, the pump shuts off. It's not going to go anywhere unless we have a leak or we use the brakes. So now let's get down and look at our brake by wire valving. We've got the top out of the way. We've got our master cylinder cutout valves normally closed. We've got our pump running. We've got pressure and we measure the pressure in the accumulator so we know exactly how much it is. The first solenoid I run into is an SLA solenoid. Now these are linear acting solenoids that are continuously variable and this is the solenoid to increase brake pressure. SLA increases brake pressure. It can vary its position to vary the amount of pressure. Now the other side of that is the SLR. It's also a linear acting solenoid that continues to variable to decrease pressure. So these two solenoids are working all the time to keep the exact right pressure we want on each wheel. We measure the pressure at each wheel cylinder so we know what the pressure is. It is measured so we know exactly what it is and the computer controls each wheel independently. So we get the maximum braking, maximum ABS, maximum electronic stability. We can stop the car without any reaction from the customer or the driver. As we said earlier, you've all heard the story. The, the advertisement says, I didn't see the car stopped in front of me. My car did, and it stopped. It has other sensors looking at obstacles in front of the vehicle, and it, this system is fully capable of operating without the motors pushing the pedals. The linear solenoids provide smooth changes in hydraulic pressure. They're under total control by the ECU. It controls the braking. And as I said before, these applications include hybrid vehicles and high-end things. If we have a failure, if we have a failure, the master cylinder cutout valves open, and if the system, so that we can supply pressure, not just to those pressure sensors, but if you'll notice, the plumbing will bring it right down and so we can bring this in with supply power to all of the brakes in case of a failure. Now, what you should know is these systems have a backup battery so we can power up the pump, we can power up the solenoids for about, oh, eight or ten stops probably, even though we have no battery applied. If the battery in the electrical system goes completely dead, this system will continue to function without the battery for a number of stops. So this is a more advanced system. Now you've gone from basic, we only had a couple of solenoids in each channel, to where we've got many more solenoids. we got pumps, we've got cutoff valves, you've seen them for Toyota, you've seen them for trucks, you've seen them for GM, you've seen them for Bosch. You've covered the whole range. We're going to get into spending a little more time looking at the, some of the specialized codes for trucks later on.